Thanks for logging into MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm meteorologist Dave Osterberg. And yesterday we showed you NOAA's predictions for the uh, hurricane season. Today, Colorado State. And it, listen, there are a couple of dozen or more agencies out there that have put out these forecasts. And they're all very similar. Well above normal in terms of names, hurricanes, and major hurricanes. So now with all the predictions out, we just wait to see what happens. When storms start to form, here are the list of names that we're going to have to deal with as well, starting with Alberto, then Beryl, Chris, Debbie, and so on and so on. Typically, though, in the month of June, and a lot of people don't realize this because they think once the hurricane season starts, you got to start looking off the coast of Africa. But no, not really. In June, it's going to be more of the Gulf of Mexico or the Western Caribbean because this is where your storms typically form very early in the season, also very late in the season as well. And climatologically, a lot of them kind of run over the state of Florida or head up towards southeastern Texas if they do develop. And typically you're going to get one name storm every, say, every other June. So we'll wait. Right now, things are relatively quiet. You do see a couple of tropical waves. Here's a big one coming off the coast of Africa. But once again, it's a little bit too early this far out for these to develop, especially the, given the fact that we have this dust, this Saharan dust. And notice how nothing develops over the dust. It's got to be to the south or the north of it. So that dust will definitely impede things for a while, but typically by the middle of July is when you're going to get that dust to kind of go away and then things start to get active. But overall development is not expected over the next seven days. With that said, some computer models are actually painting a lot of extra moisture next week in the Gulf of Mexico and the Western Caribbean. So it's, a, it's an area to watch, climatologically speaking. And yes, next week we'll watch for the potential for some extra showers and storms developing down here in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. That's about it for now. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.